Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. In this video, I'll show you how to import video into FlySight Viewer and view it alongside your FlySight data. To do this, you'll need three things. Uh, first, you'll need a FlySight log file for that jump. Uh, second, you'll need a video from that jump. And third, you'll need a moment you can identify in both the data and the video. Uh, usually this is something like exit or landing. Uh, FlySight Viewer is going to use that to line up the data and the video. Let's jump right into FlySight Viewer and see how this works. I'll be using a vintage swoop from my friend Chris Day for this demonstration. First, we need to import the log file from the FlySight. To do this, we go to File, Import Tracks, then select the log file. If we zoom out all the way, the first thing we notice is that the data starts partway through the jump. That's okay. We don't need to synchronize the video and the data at exit. In this case, we can use the moment where Chris slides to a stop after landing. To do this, we zoom into the place where horizontal speed hits zero. We're going to lie to FlySight Viewer and set this as exit, since that's what FlySight Viewer uses to synchronize data and video. We can go to Tools, Set Exit, or we can just hit X, then click at the bottom of this big drop in horizontal speed. We should see the time axis below the cursor change to zero. Next, we import the video by going to File, Import Video, then selecting the video. We hit Pause to stop video playback, and then we use the playback controls to find the place where Chris slides to a stop. I usually use the scroll bar to get close, then use the wheel to find the exact frame. Here I'm looking at the grass under Chris's hand to find the place where that stops moving. Once we've found it, we hit set exit to mark the reference point in the video. Once again, we should see the time indicator to the right change to zero. Now if we zoom all the way out and move through the video, we can see a dark gray media cursor move in the background. For example, we can use this to investigate the event just before Chris's landing maneuver. If we move the media cursor just before the flat spot in the elevation plot, then hit play, we can see that Chris makes a turn with his toggles here. For canopy piloting, a foot-mounted camera facing upward is even better, since it allows you to see every control input you make. Uh, for example, if you can see in the data that you're losing speed during setup, but you're not sure why, this is a great way to find out. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.